Okay, this is Ringwalk Media in association with Bartley Car Racing and Redline Specialist Cars. We're over in Woodness and uh, we've got a young debutant with us, Scott Brown. Nice to see you, mate. Nice to meet you. Well, listen, you've got a debut coming, turned over pro about six months ago, and I believe you're fighting next Sunday in Liverpool. Yeah, 13th of October uh, on the VIP show in Grand Central Hall. Well, that's a great venue. Nice and uh, cosy and uh, always good fights over there, mate. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, can't we? Listen, you've uh, you've had a good amateur career, I believe. I think thirty odd fights, and uh, just tell us a little bit about that. So I started boxing when I was eleven uh, at a gym in Southport, uh, my uncle's gym actually, and then I moved to Rotunda when I was eighteen. Went to the semis of the NABCs twice, uh, quarters the first time, went in all at open level, um, and then at the end of last year, I decided to turn pro, twenty three now, and I'd like to give that a go. What was the sort of defining moment that made you decide, you know what, I'm going to have a go, I'm, I'm a good amateur, I think the pros are for me? Um, I just preferred sparring, longer rounds, preferred the slower pace. Uh, the last fight I had, was, it just felt like it was cut short, only three rounds, and the lad who, I, I lost the fight and I thought that the lad who, who beat me, I'd have probably suited a longer fight with him at a slower pace. I felt like I was getting to him in the last rounds. But the amateurs was like very fast paced, flicky shots and a lot of moving. Um, I prefer a nice slower pace. I think that pros can sort of show off the style a little bit better. That makes common sense. And a lot of amateurs find when they're sort of turning over that they almost have to retrain. But how has your style sort of transferred into the programme? Has it worked well? I think, yeah, I think I'm probably quite well suited to a pro style because it's it's a slower, slower pace. Um, you can work on a lot more things. The amateurs feels quite rushed. Um, I never liked that about the amateurs, so I was quite happy to settle into that style where I could, I could pick my shots a little bit better, try and sit down on shots a little bit more, whereas you, you don't really get time to do that in the amateurs. Well, listen, exciting times ahead. You've got on a good show there with VIP. Um how has the training gone with uh, with Terry? Because obviously you've moved over here recently and uh, he's a good guy, he knows his boxing. What difference has that made to you? Well, I've known Terry um, for quite a number of years now. I've fought Leon twice in the amateurs. Uh, I've kept in contact with Leon uh, since that. Sparred him quite a few times. Sparred Cam Lewis as well from this gym. So I've always known Terry. Um, so then when I, when I decided to turn pro, I thought it was a good place to come. I know Terry's a top trainer. Uh, Jamie as well. Um, so I've settled in quite nicely. I'm enjoying training. It's good. I'll take it what with the with the names you've just reeled off. There's a bit of banter going on in the gym. Yeah. Well, I beat Leon twice in the amateurs, so every now and again, every now and again I'll wind them up about it a little bit. But no, they were two good fights. They're two close fights as well, and we've had spars where he's quite easily taken the rounds. So definitely, uh, definitely respect each other. Well, that's a good uh, grounding to have around you as well. And I bet they've been quite supportive of uh, of you during this camp. Yeah, yeah. The in-house sparring's been brilliant. Uh, we've got Jack Power, who's my weight. Leon, who's the weight above. We've got Matthew, who's a few weights below, but out of campus, it's a bit heavier. So, got great sparring. We've got lighter, heavier, different styles. It's brilliant to work on stuff. You don't really need to go outside of the gym to spar, which is fantastic that's uh it always makes life a bit easier when it's all in house and obviously you know you're going to make your pro debut you're going to get that over and done with i'm sure there's going to be a packed house you sold a lot of tickets i'm sure um are you looking forward to it yeah i'm looking forward to it um it's a chance to showcase everything that i've been working on in the gym um like i said i've had great sparring with jack matty uh leon so i mean hopefully all goes to plan I put on a good performance next Sunday. And what are your aspirations as a professional? A lot of people come in and they go, oh, I want to be a world champion. You know, some people want to go the traditional route, get you know, the essential area, a British and English and so on. You know, what, what, what's your path going to look like if you, if you could write it? If it was, obviously everyone wants to win a world title, don't they? But I'm way off that as of now, I'm not even thinking about that yet. I'd like to, I'd like to win the central area first. Um, and then, progress to win the English and if I could get a British title I'd be, I'd be really happy with that I'd reset my goals if I won a British title which is that's that's my aim to, to win a British title 
I say, well, British title fights notoriously are better than world title fights. You know, I speak to a lot of, you know, seasoned pros and they all say, you know, the British title is the one we want more than anything. Um, and it's nice to hear that you probably feel the same. So it's all good. Um, listen, Liverpool, not too far away down the road. Big weekend. We've got Nick Ball homecoming against Ronnie Rios. Um, are you going at the fight? Are you looking forward to that? Um, they were actually talking. There's a there's a few spare tickets, so I, I might come down and, and watch Nick Ball. I've seen his fights before. He's very entertaining, so I'm sure everyone's in for an entertaining night. And there's a good undercard as well. There's a few lads from Everton Red Triangle Boxing, so they're all they're all very good fighters. They'll all be very entertaining fights. Well, listen, it's uh, it'd be nice to go down and see where you possibly could get to in the future and uh, see how the pros do it. Um, of course, at this stage of your career, sponsors, they're very, very important. I don't know if you've got any sponsors at the moment or if you need any. Um, if you have got some, give them a little plug. And if you haven't, give them, give somebody a little plea. <laughs> yeah, well, I, would, I would like sponsors. I've not got any as of yet. Uh, I've been pushing to try and get sponsors. I've only been pro for six months now, so I'm at the start of my career looking out for as many sponsors as I can get because you need them at, at this stage of your career. is probably where you need the sponsors the most. Yeah, and obviously, if you get yourself up there at a British title, the sponsors that have been with you at the beginning, they're going to reap the rewards, aren't they, at that point? Yeah, of course. Of course. If you're there from the start, then obviously you'd be there as I'm carrying on doing well. Now, listen, me and Leon, we have a little bit of banter in the gym, right? And we always talk about uh, the socks. He always takes a photo of my trainers or my socks, yeah? You've got to give me the inside scoop now. What is he really like when he's off camera? Is he shocking with his trainers or in his socks, or is he actually half okay? Well, I actually got a pair of boots two weeks ago. Um, I ordered them from America and size 11. And they've come as a size 10 because it's an American size. So I sold a pair of boots to Leon. So, and they're the boots that I'm going to be wearing for my debut. So I can't really comment on Leon's footwork. And I've been wearing the same boots that he wore in his last fight. Listen, if they're your boots, then, uh, you know, he's probably got a chance of looking all right, mate. I've seen yours. They're pretty decent, to be fair. Well, listen, it's great to speak to you. Really looking forward to uh, seeing your debut. Is there any tickets left? Yeah, there's, there's loads of tickets left. Um, plenty of balcony tickets. I'm looking to sell as, as many as possible. So they can get hold of you on Instagram, social media? Yeah, Instagram, uh, Scott Brown, one underscore, um, or your phone number as well. Brilliant. Yeah, listen, if everyone, it's a good, especially being a Sunday, it'd be quite nice. Everyone's chilled out and wants something to do on Sunday afternoon. Get down and watch you box in, uh, in Liverpool, right? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully get a win on the belt, 1-0. Well, listen, great to speak to you. We look forward to seeing that next week and uh, good luck for the future, mate. Thanks very much. Cheers.